guys, everything for tech here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Pokemon on your Mac or PC using a Game Boy Advance emulator. To do this, you want to go to CoolROM.com. I'll have the link show up on the screen and also in the description. And once you get to this website, you want to go to Emulators at the top and go down to Game Boy Advance. Once you're here, for PC users, you can click one of the four options here, and those will be your emulators. And for Mac users, you want to click on this link here, and that'll take you to a separate page for Mac users only. Now on the right you can see the systems and on the left you can see the emulators and I'm going to go to Game Boy Advanced. I'm going to click on Game Boycott Advanced because I know this works. I've tried it already. I'm just doing it this way so that you guys can see that I'm doing it the exact same way you would. Now once you're here you want to click download now and just wait for this timer to go down and your download will be ready. For PC users same idea you download it, save as, do the same thing normal system you have on your PC and for Mac users you guys know what to do I'm gonna open it and then I'm gonna drag it into my applications folder now that it's in my applications folder I can close this and close this now for the ROM files the ROM files are the same on both PC and Mac you're gonna use the exact same files in the same system so you wanna go back to coolrom.com and on the top you'll have ROM files and then you can see all the emulators and you wanna click on Game Boy Advance once again now once you're here, you have tons of different options of emulators and games you want, but this is for Pokemon uh, specifically. Now I'm going to go under P, and you'll have all these Pokemons here. I'm going to click on Leaf Green, and going down, you can see Download Now. It'll download as a zip file. You want to unzip it, and then the file will be there for you. Just let the timer go. And these are very small files, they shouldn't take you long to download and they won't take up much space on your computer which is a plus so I want this download, I'm going to click to unzip it I'm going to go to my downloads open it and we're going to have this .gba file here and again it's the same thing on PC and Mac and for me now I'm going to just double click this and it should open up in the Game Boy Advance emulator now the only problem is that the sound is a little bad uh, you got to keep in mind that this was made for the Game Boy Advance back when it was out and the sound obviously is not optimized for Max and it just sounds really bad I can let you hear it now you can see it's it's very staticky uh, but that's something you're going to have to deal with I don't think there's a way around that uh, and everything's this pretty much the same as it is in the actual game it is the actual game they just got it on the computer somehow um, depending on which emulator you downloaded it might be a little different but you want to go and configure the uh, the controls just so you know what you're you're pushing so for this one specifically you go to preferences and then you go to joysticks and you hit configure keyboard and you have all your options here you can change them around you just drag that like that and it, you know it changes to what you want and again it might be different on different emulators um, just figure it out it shouldn't be hard settings preferences it should be there so I'm going to go here. I'm not going to go through the whole game because we all know that takes forever. We have tons of things to, th to read through and they talk forever before you can actually play. But you can see that it is the exact same game uh, as it would be on the Game Boy Advanced. So that's pretty much how you do it. I'm going to close this now. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And stay tuned for more emulators. Uh, tutorials. I'm going to be showing you how to do it on Android phones and possibly the iPhone if I can get my hand on one. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. More videos to come out. And thanks for watching.